Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Today we're going to be doing a Sephora haul. Yes, you heard that right. We're going to be doing a haul and I'm super excited to show you guys the products I got. So let's get started. But before we start, don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe down to my channel. Hit that boring button so you guys can notify every time I post a video for you guys. All right, so let's get started. I'm super excited to show you guys the products that I got and super excited to be doing a makeup haul for today's video because last time I did my makeup haul was from Target and Ulta and let me tell you guys I had so much fun recording it that I said let me do another haul this is actually my second makeup haul video that I'm doing for my YouTube channel and I hope you guys enjoy the first one because this one's actually going to be all Sephora makeup products that they sell and yes I had to spoil myself a little bit because it has been a while since I actually bought makeup from Sephora because let's be real they're a little expensive and by the way you guys most of these products are actually from Sephora brand makeup I wanted to spurge a little bit more on the Sephora brand makeup because I actually got really intrigued with the Sephora makeup brand when makeup by Ariel showed the blushes that went super viral in social media so yes I actually got those too so I actually spread a little bit more on the Sephora brand so I'll show you guys what I got and I also got it from other brands as well but mainly from Sephora so let me go ahead and start by showing you guys the first product I bought um, the first ones I got are blushes yes you guys know I'm a blush girl I love blush or year round it doesn't matter if it's summer Christmas I mean you name it I love using blush um, so I decided to get two, not just one, two. The first color I got is this one. It's called Hey Jealousy. I think this is one of the ones that Makeup by Ariel was using on his very viral video that he was doing live. So this is how the color looks. It looks super gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous to try this color because it's very like a very strong pink. So I have never used this type of pink for my blush, but I am super excited. So I hopefully I like it. Another blush that I got is this one. This one is called Fascinated. And let me show you guys the color because it is gorgeous. So this is the color right here. It's very like peachy color. I actually love a lot of peachy tones blushes that's what really calls my name most of the time so i saw this and i immediately had to get it i wanted to get more colors but unfortunately they were sold out i mean of course it was gonna be sold out as soon as it went viral so as soon as it went viral i went to sephora and i was like okay i gotta get these um which hopefully i like them because i'm really 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 loving the color so we'll see so next thing I got are actually brushes, you guys. I got two makeup brushes. So I actually don't have a lot of high-end brand brushes. I have from Wet n Wild, um, Dole Color. I mean, I have brushes that are from drugstore products or from brands that are cheaper. But yeah, they're super good. But I said to myself, you know what? Let me spritch on some Sephora brushes because I have heard good comments but also bad comments so i said let me just review them and make my own opinion so i got two of them the first one i got is this one this one is the pro contour in number 79 i'm super excited for this one because i do have a contour brush which is my ride or die um this one is from a doe color it's kind of like a slanted shape and this one is actually very different as you guys can see it's more like fluffy and circle so i'm so excited to try this one the second brush i got is this one this one is the pro brush foundation number 56 so i wanted to get the foundation brush first as soon as i knew i wanted to get brushes i went straight to that foundation brush because I actually have a foundation brush that I am obsessed with you guys when it comes to foundation brush if I find a good one I do not leave it I stay with it until like okay I'm ready to use it to like find another one the one I always use and I always talk about it is from Doe Color I love 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 this brand brushes if you guys have never tried Doe Color and are looking for like cheaper version then go ahead and try Doe Colors because you are amazing like I will talk about him all the time but I said okay you know what let me spritz a little bit on 
the sephora brush one because i wanted to have more than just one foundation brush in case like i lose that one then i'm gonna be heartbroken but at least i have another one so i'm gonna try this one out which i'm super excited fingers crossed i like it and it works great with all the foundations that i use so stay tuned for that because i'm super excited to try this one okay so next thing i got are some lip products yes you guys know i had to get my lip products so the first one you guys know i'm a lip gloss girl so i had to rush and get this one this one actually is a lip gloss this one is in 01 outrageous intense look how pretty this color is it's a white lip gloss but has a lot of like shimmery colorful in that lip gloss this actually became very viral as well when products become very viral i like snatch them you guys especially when it comes to blushes or lip gloss I'm a ride or die for lip gloss and blushes. So you will see me at that store right away. So for this one, it became very viral. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, let me try it out. And thankfully, it was still available to purchase, which I was super excited. I only got one because I don't know if I'm going to like it. I got a white one just to make sure I can use it with any lipstick color I have. Second lip product I got is this red one. This is a lip stain. So I have seen a lot of girls use this one. Even the girl that was helping me in Sephora find products that I was looking for showed me this one. And she was like, this color is amazing. Try it out. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna try it because it was actually in my list so fun fact when I go shopping for makeup I screenshot all the products I want before I even get there especially if it's super busy that way I can like if I don't find it I can just tell an employee they're like hey I'm looking for this product and I said you know what I don't have a lot of red lipsticks that I actually like so I said let me just get it I'm gonna try it out because I have heard really good things about it. This looks like such a pretty color for Valentine's or like just any day I'm out and about, you know, like look how pretty that looks. So another product I got that is also from Sephora brand is this eyeliner. It's actually like a bronzy brown eyeliner color. So I'm really excited to try this one, you guys. I have heard so many good things about their eyeliner and I actually don't have a brown eyeliner, believe it or not. Let me show you guys how it looks. Like, it looks so pretty. I'm really excited to try this color because it will be such a great eyeliner color for an everyday look. Or just in general, if I'm running out the door but I want that brown eyeliner, I feel like this will definitely be my favorite to go to if I like it. So I'm really, really excited about this one. Another product that I got that is actually not a Sephora brand product is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush Lips. Oh my god. This is un trabalenguas, but let me say it again. It's the Soft Pinch Blush Liquid in yes fun fact i have never tried them or purchased them even though they're like super viral and they are always sold out even though i'm the blush girl for some reason i have never tried a liquid blush i guess because i'm always just sticking to my blush powders that i just never got really intrigued by the liquid powders but i saw it and i said sabes que that's it we're gonna purchase it i got the mini size because i have seen that a little goes a long way so i wanted to try it first before i actually bought the bigger size but i actually i don't think i showed you guys the color did i so i bought the color joy this is how it looks it's a pinky soft blush and it's actually one of the best sellers when i got it it said they're one of the best sellers so i'm really really excited to try it and yes don't judge me because this is gonna be my first time buying these but at least i got it already right i actually got a setting powder i have never bought a high-end setting powder because all the ones i got are really good and like i said i'm that type of girl that once i find something good and it works for me i just don't really look for other products unless i'm ready to switch for it and i said you know what i think it's time to finally buy my first high-end powder in ever since this came out you guys i have had my eye on it so the one i am talking about is the hourglass veil 
let me take it out of the box so you guys can see it and i am so excited about this product that i actually got the bigger size um yes you guys know i always get the smaller size if they have one but i said you know what i feel like i'm gonna like it for some reason it's just always caught my attention so yes i got the bigger size as soon as i tried it on my hand i was like wow this feels amazing i feel like i'm gonna love it which the guy that was helping me said it doesn't have talc so that means it won't dry my skin a lot so you guys know i'm into more of a drier skin so i have heard so many good things about this powder for dry skin girls i think this powder might be my go-to powder if i really really like it i hope i do because i bought the big size product so let's just have our fingers crossed that i will like it and it will work great with my skin so this is actually one of the products that i'm really 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 excited to try um yes of course it was on the higher price but i had to spurge on this product because i need to have a setting powder that's high end and i feel like this is a, a really good first option to purchase a first high-end setting powder so i'm super excited if you guys have tried this powder let me know what you guys think about it let me know in the comments down below because i'm really 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 intrigued about this powder if you guys are from oily skin or dry skin or both does it work for you so i'm hoping it works for me so fingers crossed okay so another product i bought is actually from the brand milk i have never tried them before so the first product i got is this right here which is sunshine under eye tint and brining so I got really intrigued by this product because it says 3 in 1 under eye tint brighter and hydrating. Plus, it comes with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and caffeine helps reduce the appearance of dark circles. So, you guys, as soon as I read that, I was like, okay, I think this is meant for me because I am really dry under my eyes. So, I always tend to go more for products that are hydrating. So, as soon as I read that, I was like, okay, I think this is going to be a great one. So I actually got the number two on it. There was only, I think, one, two, and three. So I got the in-between of them. So I'm really excited because as soon as I put it in my hand, it feels super hydrating. And I think I'm going to love this. I am actually a ride or die when it comes to my Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. You guys know I use it all the time in my makeup tutorials. And I just love it. It works so good on my under eyes. And that's literally what I'm wearing right now. So I said let me spritch on this because I feel like this one's also going to be one of my favorite ones as well. And if it is, then I will actually have a high-end concealer that i love so i'm really excited about this one so last but not least i got this which i'm super super excited about this so i got the hydro grip set plus refresh spray i'm really excited about this one you guys because you guys know the milk grip primer is such a good primer that it's always out of stock or always sold out and a lot of people love it so i said you know what i think i need to try the setting spray because i have tried the primer and it's amazing and i know i always talk about dry skin just because that's what i mainly deal with in my skin so that's why i buy products that are more for drier skin so that's why if I, you guys hear me say a lot like for drier skin is because that's what i deal mainly most i have oily skin but only on my t-zone area which i don't seem for it to have a problem with that at all it's more into my drier skin so if you guys hear me talk a lot about that is because that's what i mainly deal with so yes back to the product this is the one product that i'm super super excited and was 100% focus on getting besides my setting powder and I actually saw a video where a girl sprayed it and her eyeshadow did not move at all so as soon as I saw that I was like wow okay I'm really intrigued about this setting spray so I, I got it I had to have it because I need to try it out and see if it's the real deal because I want to try it out myself to make sure like it doesn't move my makeup because I actually went to the reviews and there's like good reviews and bad reviews i don't know so i said you know what i'm just gonna try it out myself so that is actually all the products that i got let me know which one you guys are more excited to see and stay tuned for the first impression review on these products
products let me know if you guys have tried any of these products if you like them or not comment down below because i would love to know your reviews or like your experience on these products and how you guys use them so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys